all right guys it's a very popular error so the site cannot be raised so I've entered a path over here and it's telling that the site cannot be raised I've tried another path and again you can see the notification the site cannot be raised click on details and you're gonna see all these other several details so what are the several reason for that check your internet connection and maybe antivirus or the firewall is blocking the IP address or if you use proxy server so step by step follow the guides if you would like to fix the problem so you're gonna see three dotted lines over here or three dash line click on that and then you're gonna go to the settings click on settings and come down click on advance so obviously if you are using the different browser check somewhere for the open proxy setting so this is in chrome so once you click on advance you are going to click over here open proxy settings and then click on connection so once you choose this tab connection click on LAN settings and uncheck this box and check this one so automatically detect setting and click on OK click on OK once you have done that make sure you check it once again in connection LAN settings OK automatically detect settings click on OK and then make sure you restart the PC and check if it is working or not so if that do not fix your issue so you can see this network icon in your tax bar so right click on it and click on troubleshoot problem so it starts detecting the problem and then it gonna fix it so this is the second method so the third method is give a right click on it and click on open network and internet settings once you open that click on this ethernet and then click on change adapter settings then after you have this so give a right click on it and then click on properties once you click on properties select this internet protocol version 4 TCP IP version 4 select this and then click on properties so make sure that you have selected over here obtain an IP address automatically obtain a DNS server address automatically so make sure you have choose this automatic option so if you are using this IP address and DNS server manually you want to choose automatically so if you are already choosing if you are already using the automatically even try putting this DNS and IP address manually so if it is manually change it to automatic and then click on OK click on close so this should fix your problem so this was another step to follow okay guys the next step to follow okay guys the next step that you can follow uh, go to the search and then you can go to the start and type CMD so it's command prompt you can search for the command prompt right click on it
So just right click on it. And then click on run as administrator. If it asks you for any permission, click on yes. And then you're going to get this. So guys, you have to type the path over here. So let me show you in the very beginning, you're going to type this. So I'm just going to copy it. So make a note of this. So in the beginning, you're going to type this path in the command prompt. So make sure you type the path correctly without any spelling mistake. Okay, here we have so no space. So it is net assets win SOCK reset catalog and then click on enter. Wait for a few seconds. You're gonna see this message. So you have to restart the computer. And then once you restart, again, you're going to type this. So this is the second step. So do it after restart. So after you restart, you're going to type this and then click on enter. So you can see so some mistake over here. So it is net assets. So make sure you type it correctly. So it's uh, net assets and then click on enter so give a moment so I have entered you can see pause the video and make a note of it so it's both the path over here so at first you need to enter this one and then this one so here you go you can see everything is okay so once it is completed you just have to restart your computer so this should fix your issue so follow all these steps guys and it will definitely fix your issue so one more steps that you can try so you're going to click on right click on my computer or this pc click on manage click on device manager and then click on this network adapter so right click on it click on a scan for the hardware change and then update the driver so this is the another steps that you can follow you can update it or you can automatically update it over the internet so this is the another steps that you can follow to fix the issue so all these steps all these are the several possible steps that will definitely fix you the issue so one the either steps will definitely fix the issue guys so make sure you subscribe to the channel and share this video for the best guide and the best stuff I hope it fixed. Check the video description for a few more stuff. Have a good day. Catch you in the next video.